Hey guys, Steeple here. Today I got another look at the Yamato for you. First I got a couple builds. Takagi is the one I've been running uh, traditionally on my Japanese battleships. I did get Kondo up to level 11 today. I've been kind of eyeing him as a possibility for a while. Um, mainly as inspirations, but we'll talk about the differences between these two as we load in. Then we'll talk about the strategy here. Uh, if you watch this in the future, this is part of the introductory um, event introducing or testing the Yamato basically so about 80% of the games are 4v4 Yamatos and then the rest of them are Yamatos jammed into tier 7s so I go on reddit a lot to, just to see what's going on and people have been complaining about the Yamatos just being a camp fest what are you doing about it is my question go off to the flank it's pretty easy to do so that's what I'm going to do here that's my opening move you'll see how that works out Briefly though, while we're getting in a position, because everyone does sit still doing nothing <laughs> in these matches usually, the differences between Takagi and Kondo. Kondo, again, the Takagi build is one level higher, so uh, perk slot number two should be maxed for Takagi, not in Kondo's case. That's the only difference in terms of build strength. Uh, but range, massive difference, 3.6 kilometers further to the Takagi build and I well now that I think about it the Takagi build I run does have a range in slot 4 I think that's the only battleship line I run the range increase in perk slot 4 currently I might change that up I haven't looked at the Takagi build for a while but anyway that's a significant difference for range especially for a ship like Yamato which is the only ship I've tested the differences between these builds on unit in general, I think Japanese battleships do best at long range, and Yamato's definitely no exception to that. And that is a huge difference, so that forces you to fight a lot closer. Uh, reload, about 2.9 shorter seconds on Kondo's build. So, and that's, by the way, there is a Madden influence, a level 11 Madden influence on there right now. Upper middle level Madden. So, I mean, that's significant. The turret traverse is faster on Takagi. That kind of surprised me until I started boosting these uh, defensive builds a little bit more. The turret traverse, at least, you know, as far as I've gotten through these builds, does get the nod towards the accuracy build uh, commander type. AP damage, max AP damage, about 1,100 difference. So that's usually when you're landing citadels. So that's a fairly significant difference, probably about 6-7%, I don't know. Uh, Speed-wise, 1.9 faster on the condo build. Uh, rudder shift, 19.2 compared to 20.1, so about 0.9 there. And then 14.7 on the concealment versus 15.3 for condo. So, you know, theoretically what you could do with the condo build in this these 4v4 games is get in flank like I'm doing here, but you can get in. You, you can see I'm actually getting spotted here, presumably by a condo player uh, because I'm not able to do it and that if you can do it carefully you can outspot them you can potentially spot targets for your team but at least the way I have mine currently set up you don't get a big buffer between your max firing range and your detectability range on those condo buffs or on the condo builds so not a lot of room to play with there but you can potentially get the first shot advantage so these this enemy team interestingly enough has two that were attempting to flank and push forward like I am I think that's the way to play these 4v4s the more I've been playing them. But because I'm angled in on them and they're not really going to be focusing on me maybe after the first volley or two, you can see that left target actually shot across the map. They're looking for broadsides. I'm looking for broadsides. We're both feeling the same <laughs> vibe, you know. That's what you want to do when you get in these flanking positions is usually in these 4v4 matches, all the Chumbalones are going to be sitting in the back buffing their Dewey and, you know, hoping you know, somehow the enemy will be spotted for them. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a very passive uh, field out there. But anyways, we're just going to keep uh, looking for these broadside targets. And you can see this Takagi accuracy in play there. And we're able to just rip these citadels at long range. And we'll just keep applying that, you know, to these two targets here that are kind of stuck broadside. They're angled toward the primary bulk of my fleet, which is what they need to be doing. But unfortunately for them... Because they have a dug in, you know, cross firing flanker that's able to lob shots across the map at them, they're going to be taking a lot of damage. The proper play for them is to be returning fire in my direction. You can see the angle that I'm presenting them. They can be doing just as much damage as I am doing to them. 
If that's the case, I'd have to really aggressively be backing up. But as nobody's really firing at me at this point in time, I can just kind of adjust my speed a little bit forward, a little bit back. You know, make it a little bit harder for shots if anyone does decide to shoot at me. You know, keep them guessing as to where exactly I'm going to be going at any given minute. Uh, last bit of difference between Kondo and Takagi, the, there's a heal difference. Now, how that is affected, I don't know exactly. It says 750 HP per second for 28 seconds for Takagi, and then 816 for 28 seconds for Kondo. Now, they both have perks and legendary perks that affect the heal, so it's very hard to compare. And then you have Takagi's base trait, which supposedly affects the amount healed. I don't think that actually works, or I've been having people throughout the life of the game ask me questions about how it actually works. Initially, a while ago, I thought I knew, and then now I've <laughs> either forgotten or I no longer believe that I know anyways. But it's, it's possible it's broken. If anyone actually knows what number Takagi in the stats Takagi affects, his base trade, the one that says amount of HP healed per heal, let me know in the comments, please. Um, that said... I got Kondo kind of as an inspiration. I've been eyeing a possible look at a concealment build for battleships for a handful of months now. I just haven't gotten around to putting in a lot of points to him yet. The more I think about it, the less viable I think that is, at least in terms of how the concealments are set up in this game so far. But as I level them up a little bit more, we'll try that out and discuss more down the line. Anyways... Just running the Yamato, I ran Kondo about five games, and then I've every other game this week. I think I got all the kite tokens or whatever they're called, and then Dragos got me a few on the last stream. So I've played a fair amount of matches on the Yamato, and all the other ones were with Takagi. The Takagi is performing way better in my mind. Now, granted, five games with Kondo is not that huge of a sample size, but the short range and the lesser accuracy. Those two things are kind of removing <laughs> two of the main strengths of the Yamato, and then we're replacing it with some sort of, you know, heal, basically, which, depending on what type of damage, heavy damage, citadel damage, light damage, fire damage, whatever damage your ship is getting depends on how much you can actually heal, so it's a little bit situational on how exactly effective those heals are going to be. Uh, the reload is nice, the reload boost on the Brawly condo builds is nice, but losing out on the accuracy, losing out on that range just basically kills it for me. So early impressions, at least for the Japanese line, I would say Takagi seems to be better. That's just, I think, how the entire line plays better. I think the Japanese battleships, at least the ones we have right now, play best at max to near max range, so... That's my own opinion at the moment. You guys can let me know your insights here. You can see we're up to 250. Now this guy's in an interesting position where he's angled at the other guy. I don't know if that's the right choice or not, but I'm pushing forward, trying to get as flat of a broadside as I can. I think he's trying to back up. That's not. He's not going to be able to back up as fast as I'm going to be able to move. So the longer this goes on, the more access I'm going to have the broadside. Until that happens, though, we can keep shooting this no section, which you've seen me shooting at here. Uh, for these last two battleships and if you're not familiar with these Yamato versus Yamato These guns can easily overmatch that nose so you can see we're able to get a lot of sh Damage in there. Uh, we got the back gun on Missed the shot come on Takagi now the secondaries are going off that equals a thousand damage so Imagine what we could have done if we had a secondary build on this bad boy one more salvo finishes them off and we do I think 89% of <laughs> the enemy's HP uh, in damage this game so hope you guys did enjoy that one if you did please hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel you should consider subscribing a lot of world of warships coming all the time questions comments leave them below let me know what your high damage scores are on the magi i want to or the model sorry i want to hear what you guys are doing there and we'll see y'all later Heart peace.